Welcome back everyone. Today I thought I would show you how to install and use Tesseract OCR on Windows. So here I have Windows 10 uh, running and if you go to the Tesseract OCR GitHub repository you can find Tesseract and on the wiki they have um, some information about installing uh, Tesseract OCR on Linux which we already have a video for, uh, Mac OS X and Windows. Um, in their instructions, there's a couple different ways to try to install it, but I used this Tesseract at UB Mannheim um, uh, installer, and it works really well, so I, I highly recommend this way. This Tesseract at UB uh, Mannheim. If you click on that, then you will go to the UB Mannheim uh, GitHub repository and look for Tesseract. And if you scroll down, um, you should see Latest installers can be downloaded, and I am using the uh, Tesseract OCR setup. Whoops, Tesseract OCR setup uh, 4.0 alpha, the experimental release, and so far I've not had any problems with it. It's very easy to install, and it worked really well. Um, so I, I recommend the 4.0 install. Um, if if you're watching this, you know years later, I'm sure it's already <laughs> advanced beyond that. But anyway, right now I'm using this uh, 4.0 installer. So whenever you download that, um, I might be able, I hope I still have it in downloads. No, I don't still have it. So basically whenever you download it, um, you run it just like a normal installer and then at some stage it asks you if you want to install any additional language languages. Basically it installs uh, English by default. So I installed uh, Korean additional language data. So while you're using this installer, make sure you select any additional language data um, that you already or that you know that you're going to use. And it's basically pre-trained um, uh, models for the language that you're interested in. I chose Korean, so I'm going to use Korean uh, OCR today. Okay, so after you download um, from this UB Mannheim repository, the Tesseract OCR setup 4.0 alpha um, or, or later, um, download it, make sure you select all the languages that you want, um, and then that's pretty much it. The next thing we have to do, um, this installer does not add Tesseract to your path. So basically we can't run it directly from the command line in a very easy way. So what we need to do is add it to our path so first we need to find out where our path is. And if you chose the default settings for the installer, then it's probably located in C drive, program files, Tesseract OCR. Okay, and what we want to look for is make sure that we actually have the Tesseract.exe. Or you, you might, if you don't have extensions uh, enabled, you'll see Tesseract. You want to see this binary uh, available in the folder. So um, this test data is where the uh, downloaded models are. So I, you can see I have core.trained data. And I'll probably do another video later on how to actually build your own trained data sets. But for now, uh, we're just downloading the trained data that already existed. Uh, so going back to path, my path, my install path is C drive program files x86 text tesseract OCR. So I need to right click and copy this. Okay, because I want to tell the computer where this path is. Next, I go to the Start menu, and I type in, just type in path, P-A-T-H, P-A-T-H. And whenever you get the path, you'll see Edit System Environment Variables in the control panel. This is for Windows 10. Uh, so click on that, and you should get the System Properties box pop up. Uh, we want the Advanced tab. And you want to click on Environment Variables, the Environment Variables button. So click that. One, after clicking Environment Variables, you'll have the another Environment Variables box that pops up. You want to click Path and Edit. Path and Edit. And you can see I've already added in my C drive program files Tesseract OCR um, to my path. Um, if you basically the way to add anything to the path is select the next available line. So the next empty line here, you can either click new or you can click or you can just double click um, the, uh, the empty line. And then you can paste the path that we just copied previously into that location. So we want to make sure that this is the path to 
the Tesseract binary that we downloaded from UB Mannheim. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and delete that since I already have it in there. So what you should have at the end is basically in your path you need the location to the binary. So I have C drive program files Tesseract. Okay, so click OK and then OK again and then OK again. And um, the test to see if it's actually been added to your path, uh, we can open up uh, PowerShell. So you can click on the Start menu again and type Windows PowerShell. And then you'll get this Windows PowerShell desktop app with kind of a purple icon. If you click on that, then you should get this blue screen. And then I'm at use C Drive Users um, and then my username. Okay, so. If uh, you added Tesseract correctly to your path, you should just be able to type Tesseract. And then I hit Tab for auto-completion. So I basically typed Test, Tess, and then Tab, and it auto-completed a Tesseract uninstall. That's not what I want. I want Tesseract. So I hit Tab again, and we see Tesseract.exe was selected. Okay, so that means that Windows actually sees these uh, binary. So just to make sure, I can do Tesseract exe dash dash help. Okay, so if I run that, I get the help output for the Tesseract program. So we can see all of the options that we can give the program. That means that Tesseract exe is running, or I can run it from uh, a command line, which means it's been correctly added to my path. Okay. So you can read the help menu if you want. We are going to do just a very basic uh, text extraction for now. Um, so just to show you what we're what we're extracting on, I'm going to close this. Um, I have this test PDF, okay? And this test PDF is in Korean. So we have some uh, nice big Korean text, so it shouldn't have any problems, I hope, with um, at least the big text. Um, and then we have kind of an index. Uh, or a table of contents, sorry. And then we have a little bit more challenging kind of uh, some stylized Korean text mixed in with numbers um, and then headings, but headings in kind of an odd, uh, with an odd background, plus some pictures and um, in the pictures, also some Korean text within the images inside the PDF, okay? So um, on Pages like this, I expect Tesseract to have some problems, especially with like these embedded images. Um, this small text is a little bit blurry, uh, but we can see we can see what happens. Um, so then the other text, maybe I hope it, it works okay. So let's see how this works. Okay, and this is a pretty common problem with with a lot of formal Korean documents. Is they have a lot of uh, different colors. Um, they use a lot of uh, kind of text boxes, uh, tables, for example. Um, and then pulling the text out of these tables is also usually, usually it's pretty difficult. Um, a lot of images embedded, things like that. Okay. So um, the first thing I did, um, I was actually trying to use image magic for Windows to uh, basically convert each page of this PDF to um, uh, an image, uh, a ping or a JPEG or a TIFF, something like that. Um, I couldn't get it working very well. Uh, I'll still keep working on that. But what I've done anyway is I used another tool um, to extract all of the um, uh, PDF pages and convert them into a uh, relatively high quality PNG. Okay, so it's a PNG image and I have a folder where each page is is named test 01, test 02, so this is page 1, page 2, page 3, up to page 30, okay? Um, so I've already converted them to images, so now we just need to extract um, the uh, text from the images, okay? So to do that, uh, I open up... Um, uh, uh, PowerShell again. Whenever you open up PowerShell, you'll probably be, I guess, in C drive, users, and then your username. So my test data is in the test folder on my desktop. So I need to move to CD desktop. And then inside desktop, we can see that we've moved to the desktop directory. I need to move to the test folder. That's the name of the folder. And then if I do dir, dir, 
then I can see all of the files in there and we can see the file names. So for example, test one PNG, okay? So, so far we've uh, basically installed, added Tesseract to our path. We've gotten a PDF that we want to extract the text from. Uh, we've converted that PDF into images, uh, relatively high quality PNG files. We have a folder full of PNGs, okay? Now, um, what I can do or the way that I would use Tesseract is uh, by using tesseract.exe, um, just typing tesseract.exe, and then the name of the image that you want to extract the data from, and then where you want to where you want to save the extracted data as a text file. I better call this out.txt, um, or actually I'll call it test01.txt. Okay, um, so here I'm using tesseract.exe image that I want to extract the text text from and then this dot dot uh, slash dot dot slash represents going up one directory so in this case I'm saving it on the desktop I'm saving the output of the first page to the desktop okay in in a file called test 01.txt and then I give uh, the switch dash l dash L for language, and then the language that I have uh, installed is K-O-R, or Korean, okay? Um, Tesseract also has, I can I can show you really quickly, I'm gonna open a new, um, new PowerShell so we can, Tesseract also has, um, if you look, you can, where was it? We can see the installed languages. I think it was languages list langs. Ah, yeah. Okay, so Tesseract dash dash list langs Tesseract dash dash two two minus signs list dash langs L A N G S. Okay, and then if we hit enter, then we can see all of the languages that are currently installed in that Tess data folder. I still have it. Yeah, I don't have it anymore. So these are all of the languages that are available on my system that we actually have models for. So in this case, I can extract um, using the model that's already been generated, English and Korean and OSD, but basically English and Korean, okay? Um, so you can use list langs. If your language does not show up, um, then you need to install it. It hasn't been detected. And um, notice it's a three letter uh, language identifier, not a two letter, okay? So uh, we're doing our extraction. So Tesseract test 01 PNG dot dot slash test 01 dot TXT. This is the output file. This is the input file. And then our dash L is KOR because we had KOR installed. So if I hit enter, Tesseract open source uh, 4.0 alpha running, okay. Uh, invalid resolution detected, estimating resolution is that. Okay, so let's go back to the, um, oh, it already put the text extension. Okay, so the output um, file is test01 text, and then I accidentally added a another .txt, so we'll do that. And if I double click on it, we can see some Korean text has been extracted. So let's go ahead and compare that with the actual Korean text. So inmunsa hui, inmunsa hui. Okay, that's correct so far. And that looks right as well. So basically this first line was extracted correctly. And then we have this nu a which I don't see anywhere. So for some reason it added nu I'm not sure why. And then uh, un, but they added a space here. So this is Zhang and this is Chang. So they, they miss that a little bit. Uh, the This is kind of a J sound. This is a CH sound a little bit. And there's a very, very small difference between those characters. So it still did pretty well, but definitely not perfect. And then 2018 uh, is down here. And then... So that's right. They added Lang here uh, 
and then they added some of this text here and then Inmun is here. So basically everything is right except this uh, J sound here and they've added some additional characters that weren't there before but basically all of the main sentences are intact so that's you know pretty pretty good. Okay let's go back to um, our extraction and I can remove this.txt. So test02 and then uh, for file, test02 PNG. So test02 PNG is our input. We're saving it to the desktop in a file named test02 and then dash L KOR, enter. And okay, now it's finished. So let's go look at it. So this is the second page. Um, it's the uh, table of contents. Test 02, and I can already see that it has apparently missed. I'm not sure where it put it, but it might have missed this uh, Moon Cha and Xin Chang Cha. So that's right. So for the most part, we have we have the same thing. Now you might get these um, kind of uh, you see these black characters with two dots. Those are actually. Um, uh, probably, I'm, I'm guessing now, but I'm guessing Linux um, return characters. So if we opened this in a Linux system, then this would actually be uh, new line characters or yeah, basically new line characters. Um, on Windows, you're going to get this kind of uh, uh, <laughs> you're going to get this kind of encoding problem, basically. So um, I would either make a filter that goes through and removes all of them or converts them to uh, Windows format or um, you know, whatever processing you want to do, but these are probably new line um, in the Linux or Unix um, uh, uh, encoding. Okay, so, so far, you know, we've gone through two pages, and for Korean, it's actually worked really well. Installation was very easy with this UB Mannheim uh, uh, 4.0 installer. Um, they will download some of the pre-trained languages for you. It was very, very simple. You just have to add it to your own path, um, and then you can run it from the command line. So I hope that was helpful. Um, I know a lot of people wanted to use Tesseract in Windows, um, and this at least can get you started. What I would do next probably is write a either Windows PowerShell script or maybe a batch script or something um, to go through and um, basically give it a folder and then have run Tesseract automatically on all of these PNGs and then compile it into one file. That's probably the next stage that I would do. So. Um, that's it for today. Thank you very much.